Good morning, everyone. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you very much for joining me. It is January 3rd, 2025, and there's been another earthquake uh, there in Missouri, the New Madrid Seismic Zone, um, near the Real Foot Reverse um, Thrust Zone. I'm going to go to that 2.2. It was at uh, 3.22 a.m. local time. No one said they felt it, maybe because they were sleeping. Been quite a few earthquakes within this area in the last month. Here's the 2.2. There was also a 2.6 um, December 11th, and then a 1.9 December 25th, a 2.7 that was on, let's see, December 9th. The New Med Red Seismic Zone, located in southeastern Missouri, northeastern Arkansas, western Tennessee, western Kentucky, and southern Illinois, is the most active seismic area in the United States, east of the Rocky Mountains. The, this area includes major cities such as Memphis, Tennessee, St. Louis, Missouri, Little Rock, Arkansas, and Evansville, Indiana. Every year, hundreds of small earthquakes occur within this area. However, the most are too small to be felt by humans and can be only detected by the uh, uh, seismic instruments. The faults on which the earthquakes occur are buried beneath a 100 to 200 foot thick layer of soft sediments. This soft um, sediments may erode rather quickly by new deposits, thereby hiding evidence of earlier earthquakes and their locations. In places like California, where rocks are at or near ground surface, the faults are much easier to study because they can be readily measured and analyzed. And since the faults in the New Madrid seismic zone are not expressed at the surface, they are not well understood and more difficult to study. Experts believe there is a 7 to 10 percent chance of a magnitude 7.0 or greater earthquake in the next 50 years. They always pick 50 years within the New Madrid seismic zone and a 25 to 40 percent chance of a smaller but more still more potentially devastating magnitude 6.0 earthquake. Scientists have found evidence of three or more large magnitude 7.0 or greater earthquakes that have occurred within this area in the last 2,000 years. Going to the USGS website, this earthquake was 4.6 miles in depth. No one said they did feel it. And there's been 21 earthquakes within the last month. Before this was a 2.0 that was deeper, 6.3 miles in depth. Uh, we also got a 2.2, 5.9 miles in depth, a 2.7 that was 6.1 miles in depth, a 2.2, 5 miles in depth, a 1.6. 3.8 miles in depth, and etc. The largest looks like it might have been a 2, no, a 3.0. Now that was on the 9th of last month, December, and that was 4.9 miles in depth, and that was close to the same location of all these recent earthquakes that I showed you on the map. They evidently upgraded that earthquake from the original 2.7. I'm going to have to fix that. Yeah, they originally said it was a 2.7. Now they're saying it's a 3.0. So I'm going to have to correct it, which I just did. Yeah, um, I don't know when they upgraded it. Um, maybe a week or so later or two weeks later when they figured people probably didn't even notice. And that's that's a pretty significant upgrade. Let me bring this out. Over here you can see the New Madrid, um, the town. And the reason the river here is curved 
is the uh, fault. This is a block fault um, where the yeah, tension has risen. It has built. So it's not moving a straight north to south, um, but actually being pressure. Uh, the pressure is actually moving it east to west. Using Google Earth, you can see here how this is an actual separate block and how the fault has moved it. It swoops around, comes down, and then continues going north. If this area does have another large earthquake, in addition to the thousands of deaths, bridges that are crossing the Mississippi River could fall. Major highways, including Interstate 55, could buckle. And oil and gas pipelines could break, causing nationwide disruptions. Yeah, you would also have fires. It would be interesting to see a moment tensor ball for these earthquakes, what direction the fault moved. But here you can see there, there's nothing. They did give it an intensity level of 4, probably after they reviewed the 14 people that said they felt that earthquake. Yeah, it was felt almost as far as St. Louis, which is up over here. I don't think they have names for these. Let's see, intensity level 2, intensity level 3. Um, two, and then closer to where the earthquake occurred, we got three, two, um, one, one, let's see what else they got, and they got one off to the east, uh, let's see, let me close that, oh, near Mammoth Capes, okay. I would not want to be down there on a tour if there was a large earthquake. <laughs> what do you think? They don't have an intensity level for this early morning's 2.2, but this 3.0 intensity level 4 means it was felt indoors by many, outdoors by a few. At night, they would have been woken up. Dishes, windows, doors were rattling. Automobiles rocked noticeably. Off on the side here is what people said it felt like. So they got um, magnitude 3. Now for this 2, let me bring this down. Felt by a few persons at rest, especially on the upper floors. Delicate suspended objects may be swinging. So they may upgrade this earthquake that was this morning, this 2.2, uh, to an intensity level of 2 later. So three magnitude sevens in the last 2,000 years within this location. Yeah, they don't talk about that either. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless y'all. Bye.